Good day. Welcome to MattersOfTheSoul.org. My name is Erik Skuman. This is program 5 in a series on hope. You know, Isaiah 40 verse 31 says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, and they will run and not grow weary, and they will walk and not faint. This is uh, our responsibility to change the way we think and to move our hearts and to yearn for the Lord and to focus on Him. And to cry out to him when we don't feel that we have the strength. But then he promises that if you hope in him, your strength will be renewed. Well, sometimes we fail, we start to feel, but because I'm feeling so tired, I don't have the strength to hope in the Lord. But hope can also just be crying out to the Lord and asking him for strength because you're relying on him. And when you're dependent on him, that's when he steps in and he comes and gives you hope. So hoping is also just about using the faith that you have. Uh, Hebrews 10 verse 23 says, Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. So you don't have to be the very strong person, the person that just conquers every problem in life, that does not have any anxiety or fear. But you need to be the person that cries out to the Lord and who holds on to his promises and who walks <laughs> after him. So that's what you need to do, is cry out to the Lord. Romans 15, 13 then says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing through the experience of your faith, that by the power of the Holy Spirit you will abound in hope and overflow with confidence in His promises. So it's God who fills you with hope, with joy and peace. And He's by the power of His Holy Spirit that you'll abound in hope. But what does he, what, is, what do you do? You believe it's the experience of your faith. And therefore, you just need a mustard seed of faith to just say, Lord, just fill me with your spirit. You need to be in the word because we know when you read the word and you, and you make it your own, that's when hope and faith works together. So the faith starts to build and the hope starts to grow. Also in knowing that the Lord loves you. That's where hope, faith, hope and love works together. So you're believing in the Lord and that builds your hope and that in knowing that he is true and that he loves you, that's when you start to grow in hope. 2 Corinthians reminds us that, that God comforts us when we are in, in not feeling any comfort and when, when we are feeling troubled that he comforts us so that we can comfort others. So this week, try to use your faith and say, Lord, come and strengthen me. Wait on the Lord. Ask him for strength. Ask him for his Holy Spirit. Eat up his word like you eat your bread and your meat. May God bless you. Until next time, this was MattersOfTheSoul.org.